So I jumped in the territory and um, another problem. Charge fail. So what does that immediately tell me? Um, possibly alternator. Alternator related part like the voltage regulator or brushes, etc, etc. So um, steering's heavy. Uh, which would mean that the electronic power steering isn't at its full, you know, potential or, or, or power. Um, basically, the car's running off the battery at this point, so it's not actually receiving charge from the alternator. Um, I've confirmed that by... I'll just turn this off. I've confirmed that by basically having the car idling and running a multimeter on the battery itself. And you can see that the battery voltage is below 12 volts and actually dropping whilst the car's running. So it's dropping to 11.9, 11.85, 11.8. It's got it going lower and lower and lower. So basically it's not getting that charge from the alternator um, to then replenish the battery. So the whole car's running off the battery the whole time. Now that might get you home but it also might get you into lots of trouble because it'll probably kill your battery. Um, it'll basically, the whole car running off the battery will um, eventually just destroy it. You might go through, you know, you, you might be able to get home, that's fine. Um, I was at home and moving the car in and out of the garage and that's when it threw that charge error. So I'm not gonna run any chances being that this is a pretty recent battery anyway. So I'm gonna take all this apart. The alternator's down there. It crosses over, being the diesel engine, it crosses over to um, some Jaguar Land Rover stuff. I think it's in the Jaguar that it's the actually the, the same part number. I'm not sure if it's the same as the part number in the, the 2.7 litre, the, the same engine that's in the Land Rover Discovery 3s. But um, either way, I'm going to get dirty and uh, pull that alternator out and replace it out. Probably do a couple of other things at the same time while we're here, like a new drive belt and degreasy engine and just yeah see what else we can do whilst we're in this general area and uh go from there so you can see it's um it's not at the you know 13 and a half odd volts that it should be when the alternator is running properly uh, and that's just going to continue to drop because the battery is not receiving any additional charge. So, uh, funnily enough, we actually have to remove the battery, which in these territories actually poses a different problem, uh, which we'll get to at some other point. All right, so the belt goes around the alternator like that down under the crank pulley, above the crank pulley, over the AC power, no, that's the water pump, over the water pump, down on the other side of the water pump, around the alternator underneath, then comes up, up over this, idler then across here um, across the top of this idler yep across the top of this idler then down to the alternator again All right, so this is the unit that's out of the car. Um, actually wasn't that hard to uh, remove. Um, these are 13 mil bolts here and one 13 mil bolt at the front there. That's also a 13 mil there as well. Um, that's the part number, it's a Denso alternator. So the Denso part number is the 1042, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, that's the type of pin it is. So that pin refers to the the plug that's on the back here. You see, it's that that single that single pin that shape just there. Um, that's what it refers to. This is a brand new JLEC. Uh, wait for that to focus. Six five eight five two eight. 
suit for Territory Diesel and Jaguar. So 150 amp, 150 amp is apparently the OE um, rating. I did see a couple of 220 amp units. Um, that's a significant jump. Um, if it was 170, 180 amp or something like that, and the standard was 150, I probably would have gone that. But given that it's 150 is the OE, and then it goes to 220, I'm probably just better off going with the 150 and 150. I always like to, you know, upgrade when you can if you're replacing, but that's too much of a difference for me for me to be comfortable with. So um, this is what the all the books recommended. Um, direct replacement, and you can see all the bolt patterns look absolutely identical to what we're dealing with. The same pinout, the same um, plug, which is good because you don't want to be having to change that plug. Where is my focus there? Sorry. Um, that's just going to be annoying. So we'll chuck this one in, and our problems should go away. I uh, forgot to mention as well, we grabbed the new drive belt at the same time, which is a 6BK 1975. 1975 refers to the length. 6BK is the ribs. Um, yeah. Right down there. Probably should degrease all of this now while we're here. Might as well give it a service. Um, probably due in the next month or so anyway, so might as well throw a new oil and filter in it. Change the fuel filter. It's almost due for its timing belt service anyway. Yeah, okay. So what can you do, right? you got to fix these things. Anyway. Good outcome. Alternator. Replaced. Good to go.